Hey guys, this is Tribute 55 and well, I'm bringing you another video here. This time, another tutorial on how to play PS2 games on your PC using PCSX2, a PlayStation 2 emulator. Now, what we're going to want to do here is go to PCSX.net or PCSX2.net and download the newest version. I'll put a link description. But first, you're going to want to go get what's known as BIOS, you know, for your country, PS2, whatever PS2 games you got, you can pick whatever, but I'll put a link of what I have, but I'll also show you where to go get it. So you're just going to go to the Emmy Paradise, you know, Emmy Paradise dot, does that say me? <laughs> and they'll have a, you know, PlayStation 2 BIOS files. They're not the same ones I got, but they'll work, they'll work. I'll also put that link exactly where this website is, so don't worry about that. If you hear some air noise, it's coming from a fan I have in my room because, well, it's hot in here. I don't know what the hell I was doing here, but oh well. Then you just download the newest version, which is 1.2.1. So I'll go to the download section. Again, I'll put a link of this. Oh wow, that. Mm. I just click download on this first uh, one here. Standalone installer 1.2.1. Wow, I seriously need a pop filter. Well, now that you have that downloaded, go ahead and install it by clicking on the exe file. This takes a little bit for some reason, so I'll probably cut this out. So you're going to want to click run here, I kind of uncheck some stuff, but you want to keep all those checked to let it install. Me, I already had that all going. I didn't feel like losing all my files, so just click next once you get to that screen. Here I go to custom. I go to custom installation so I don't have to download no other nonsense. And I uncheck those two boxes. Then click next. Wherever you want to save it. Next. It'll install. Actually, fairly quickly it'll install. This nonsense, you can you know, just install what it says. I'll probably speed that part up. Alright, now that you click install, you get an icon that looks like this. So go ahead and open that up. And you'll be presented with like a startup like page of some sort. Here you want to select your language. <laughs> using, I'm from the US, so I use English from the US. You can look at some of those configuration guides for more help because I don't feel like going into detail about it. Here's where it gets a little more interesting. You can set up game pads, you know, PS2 controller, PS3 controller, Sega Genesis controller, who knows. So just keep configure on pad and there you go. All these plugins should come in with this with this version. Usually I leave everything else alone, but how you wanna go to pad one to These are the list of controllers we have plugged in. That's what I use mainly for this emulator. Everything else uses Genesis. So you can set each. I'll just put a little mini <laughs> demonstration on how to set things, but these are the PS3 controllers, so works just fine. I forget, it looks like you just press up, down, left, and right, and you have to click each one to set it. My right hand unlocks the got number buttons, but we're gonna go ahead and skip that. Go to next. Here's where you want to go get your bio. So wherever you have your bio saved, which you're gonna have to take from your downloads and put it in. Go to documents and look for your PCSX2 
folder. And, uh, well, yeah, just open it up and find your bios, and I'll copy and paste the bios from the file I'll have you download. You'll need WinRAR or something similar, WinZip, whatever else they got. I'm pretty sure you can find a free alternative. If not, just use a free trial. Trial. But anyways, you want those files files, and you're going to put them in your, uh, your documents. <laughs> PCSX2 BIOS. Those are all the ones I got. You'll be getting those from me. I don't know where they're from, so don't ask, because I have no clue. I'm not even sure if they're entirely legal. <laughs> you know, I'll just put the link on Emmy Paradise. <laughs> I'm not going to put my BIOS files. Mine are, mine are just for all this nonsense. You only need like two to run it. If you're an American, pick whatever one's for your country. It's either use a, I'm USA, so I'll use the USA. Unless I feel like downloading a Japanese game, then I'll pick a Japan, but yeah, whatever. Click finish, and there you go. Everything's all loaded. Just go find yourself a ROM that you can, well, use a ROM at the same place I got them, was uh, Emmy Paradise. Here you can set your window size. Widescreen, standard for you. Yeah, I don't know. Really, nothing to configure. I don't. I leave everything else default. You have to configure everything else to your, to your computer, which is I recommend a pretty beastly computer and an i5 or i7 because it's actually really demanding. I mean, like I show you a little boot up sequence of Final Fantasy X. <laughs> it's the only one I got downloaded. You know, just find your ROMs that you have, which is an ISO file. There you go. Well, yeah, in this case, it'd be ISO. There you go, with it'll boot up. With the old classic PS2 boot up sequence. Go full screen here, and you'll see what it looks like. Ah, it takes me back. 12 years, 14 years. Anyways, I hope this helped in any way. The people learning how to, wanting to play some old nostalgia games on their PC. This has been Chewyside55.